Some Echo Park residents are upset after a fence around their neighborhood's lake was knocked down. It was put up more than a year ago after the city cleared out a homeless encampment. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in Echo Park to show us what was done overnight. Tina. Well, Marcy, the fence is in pieces in this one area. You can see that there are a few pieces right up here. This is the outer sidewalk on the edge of the park. But then there are even more pieces that have actually ended up all the way down by the water. Someone might have been trying to send the city a message with this, but they're just calling it vandalism and say repairs are already underway. It's a public park. It should be open. What do you need a fence for? Nate Offerdahl was pleased when he came to Echo Park Lake and saw that much of the fencing had been taken down. He says the feel of the park changed when the fences went up more than a year ago. The sight line gets messed up. Uh, and it's definitely creates an atmosphere that almost feels unwelcoming. But others say the park has been more welcoming since the city cleared out the homeless encampment that had been here and started shutting down the park during the overnight hours. Parks at nighttime can cause a rise in crime, as was seen here in the experiment that was unfenced Echo Park. Many people tell us although they have compassion for those who are unhoused, they didn't feel safe bringing children to the park when there were so many living at the lake. Some, not all, do some drugs out and about or like just take off their clothes. It's not clear exactly who removed the fences last night, but they left behind a sign that read the People's Park LA. City staff removed that and started repairing the fence this morning. As for whether the fences will stay up long term, Councilman Mitch O'Farrell's office says that's still being decided. The Department of Recreation and Parks is just starting a community needs assessment where locals will have a chance to weigh in, but it's already clear not everyone will agree. I just think it's an open space. It's for everybody. The park is for everyone during appropriate hours. Now again, Councilman O'Farrell's office says it will be an independent, community-driven process to figure out the future of the park, and he says they will not only look at security measures, but also programming and amenities here. I'll send it back to you.